outrageously small portions, fishy food prep, and frustrating shortages. This is the shady business that Popeyes has tried to get away with. When you go to your local Popeyes, you expect it will have what's listed on the menu, but that hasn't always been true, and we're not just talking about the time that the chicken sandwich blew up in 2019. Occasionally, a Popeyes location may be out of just one item, but it's often worse than that, as one disgruntled customer wrote on Reddit. Whenever I order at my three local Popeyes, they literally are out of over half the menu every time. And another upset patron declared, They absolutely knew they had zero chicken, and I do mean zero chicken to serve, but still took our orders so they could keep our money. When the lady behind the counter offered we could get $34 worth of fries and mac and cheese, I had to laugh. After researching it, I've discovered this is the process at Popeyes. This lack of items occurred frequently during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, when much of the restaurant world was struggling with supply chain issues. But even since then, there have been reports of Popeyes occasionally running out of food when they're offering a popular special that makes people flock to their local restaurant. Even worse, some locations have a reputation for running out of food on any old random weekday. No! God! No! God, please, no! No! When Popeyes introduced a plant-based sandwich in 2021, it didn't stay on the menu for long. The chain does offer vegetarian menus in the UK and India, but if you're someone in the US who sticks to a plant-based diet, you should do your research because looks can be deceiving. For instance, the Southern classic of red beans and rice contains lard and meat. At least the mashed potatoes are vegetarian, as long as you get them without the meat-infused gravy. The green beans are also a no-go, since they contain turkey bacon for flavoring. Finding something truly vegan at Popeyes is even more difficult. The Cajun fries and hash rounds might qualify, but they're sometimes cooked in the same fryers as non-vegan items, and thus may experience cross-contamination. Popeyes has also admitted that it fries its selections in beef tallow. The coffee and most drinks on the menu do appear to be safe options for vegans, but that's about it. When Popeyes brought back its chicken sandwich after running out of its supply in 2019, there were many complaints that it wasn't the same as before. Its return was met with mayhem and violence in some extreme cases, in part because it didn't look quite the same as everyone remembered it. I'm experiencing some things right now. Even though Popeyes swore that nothing had changed, customer testimonials told a different story. The first hint that something was off was the fact that the sandwich's calorie count had decreased from 690 to 660. And in side-by-side -side photo comparisons, the new version was visibly smaller, as the chicken and bun weren't nearly as thick as the first time around. There didn't seem to be as many pickles anymore, either. Plus, the new bun was lighter in color, while some people thought that the breading was also somehow different. Despite these clear discrepancies, some customers believe that the chicken sandwich is still just as delicious as always. Some even thought that it tasted better. You never want to eat uncooked chicken, as it could be contaminated with salmonella and cause food poisoning. Thus, there's a lot of inherent trust that we have in poultry-based fast food restaurants. Alas, incidents of uncooked chicken at Popeyes reportedly happen far too often. As one customer revealed on Reddit, I was served a raw chicken sandwich and I got sick. The owner did nothing and corporate did nothing. I am hoping this gets shared. Another customer who was served an uncooked chicken sandwich called Popeyes on the phone and was reportedly told, We check our broilers every four hours to make sure they are at the food safe temperature. I'm sorry you were dissatisfied with it. Customers have complained about similar issues with the chain's bone in chicken, including the wings, so it's probably a good idea to cut into the meat yourself before you take a bite of chicken at Popeyes, or anywhere else for that matter. Some customers have complained that the chicken tenders they get at their local Popeyes aren't as good as they once were. The issues cited include smaller amounts of crisp batter, tiny portions, and increasingly low-quality meat. As one customer put it on Reddit, they used to be really tender, now they are quite chewy and dense. And another claimed, they definitely have some weird spots in them, like rubbery. Others have received tiny pieces that they contend shouldn't count towards their total number of tenders. The breading is another common problem area. Since regular chicken tenders are breaded by hand at Popeyes, they can vary significantly from location to location. So this issue is probably more about the individuals who are doing the breading rather than a chain-wide problem. The spicy tenders, at least, seem to be more consistent because they come pre-breaded. Spicy! Not all cooking oils are exactly the same, and it's worth noting that Popeyes uses palm oil to fry its chicken. That's a bit unusual compared to other major chicken chains like Raising Cane's and Chick-fil-A, which use blends that contain different oils like canola, soy, or peanut. Palm oil has a bad reputation for several reasons. It may have some health benefits, but it's also high in saturated fats. 
One 2006 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that palm oil can keep cholesterol at higher levels compared to other types of oil like soy and canola. Another big problem with palm oil is that it often comes from unsustainable sources that contribute to deforestation. As for where Popeyes stands on this issue, the chain noted in 2022, the commitment to contribute to the production of certified sustainable palm oil is part of Popeyes' ambition to support deforestation-free supply chains. On top of all that, there's anecdotal evidence from some customers who claim that eating at Popeyes has given them serious digestive problems. Some of them believe that palm oil is to blame. However, it's not entirely clear what oil blend Popeyes really uses, with some sources reporting that they use beef fat in their fryers. Not all of Popeye's menu items sell quickly and consistently. Nevertheless, the chain still makes a habit of cooking them ahead of time and putting them under the heat lamp in anticipation of customers eventually ordering them. Alas, they're not always exactly fresh in this scenario. So if you're someone who likes your fast food straight out of the fryer, there are a few items that you might want to avoid. As one person claiming to be a Popeye's employee revealed on Reddit, spicy chicken doesn't sell as well as mild, so it just sits there for longer than 30 minutes. It's supposed to be there until we get a complete or we have time to look. Same for the fish, it just doesn't sell. This practice varies by location, though. Spicy chicken is particularly popular in New Orleans, for example. But if you live in an area where people don't like spicy food as much, it might be one of the slower selling and therefore less fresh items available. There are a couple of workarounds to help you get fresher food. One option is to only visit when it's super busy and there's no need to put anything under a lamp. Or you could politely inform the staff that you're willing to wait for your food to be cooked fresh. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Obtaining fresh fries from any fast food joint can be tricky, and it may be all the more difficult at Popeyes, where customers have complained about them being greasy, soggy, and cold. As for the greasiness, one person claimed on Reddit, that's true 90% of the time. However, it wasn't all bad, as that same person also revealed, this past week I must have hit the fry jackpot or something because I got a batch of crispy, not too oily fries, and everybody agreed they were the best Popeyes fries we've ever tried. But even if you do look out with fresh fries, it's important to not wait too long to eat them. As one person advised on Reddit, the secret is that you have to eat them right away. If they sit in the bag, they become soggy because of all the steam being created in the bag that can't vent. To be fair, this isn't entirely unusual when it comes to fast food fries, but it's still worth pointing out so that you can take precautions. Try politely asking the cashier that you're willing to wait for a fresh batch, and once you receive them, keep the box or bag open so that the spuds don't drown in their own steam and become a soggy, greasy mess. Getting tiny bone-in chicken pieces from Popeyes can no doubt be a major bummer. The quality of the chicken itself may be up for debate as well. While Popeyes promises that it uses antibiotic-free poultry, it has never promised that they're cage-free or hormone-free. This likewise means that there's little reason for their chicken pieces to be so small, and yet multiple customers have complained about the size, or lack thereof. As one person put it on Reddit, the bone-in chicken at Popeyes has gotten ridiculously small. The legs can be eaten in almost a single bite, and the thighs are only slightly bigger than the legs. And don't even get me started on the wings. And a customer who visited in 2023 had this to say on Reddit, These are the tiniest, dinky wings I have ever seen, about one-third the size of the wings I'm used to getting. One TikToker even went so far as to post a video in which he asked for more wings to make up for the minuscule serving. At least give me two of them. <laughs> it's fairly well known that the process of preparing shrimp involves deveining it. Although apparently not everyone at Popeyes got the memo. Getting cooked shrimp with the veins intact may sound rather unappetizing, though it is technically food safe. Still, if you're trying to avoid shrimp veins, you should probably be careful at this particular chain. The potential problem with leaving the vein in is that it is actually the shrimp's digestive tract. It's dark because it's filled with all of the food the shrimp was digesting. It's essentially the shrimp version of eating another animal's intestines, just on a smaller scale. While it's not harmful to eat cooked vein in shrimp, there's surely an undeniable ick factor for plenty of people. Plus, it can sometimes leave a gritty residue behind, and who wants to bite down on something sandy when eating shrimp, or any food for that matter? One grossed-out customer who was served shrimp from Popeyes that wasn't deveined shared the experience on Reddit while declaring, Popeyes doesn't even devein their shrimp. Looks like no more Popeyes for me. Some customers have even found tails left on all of their shrimp, which isn't exactly the most appetizing possibility either. 
It's probably fair to say that not every fast food lover assumes that all chicken tenders are made from actual chicken tenderloins, but this distinction was important enough for some people that a class action lawsuit was brought against Popeyes. As its name suggests, the tenderloin part of a chicken breast tends to be more moist and tender than other white meat cuts. The customer named in the suit felt that she and other customers were being cheated when they ordered tenders at a premium price even though they weren't made from tenderloin meat. However, Popeyes doesn't specify that its tenders come from any particular part of the chicken. Moreover, they don't even call them tenderloins. According to court docket info, the case does not appear to have moved forward between 2022 and 2024, after the court suggested a dismissal or amendment. In the meantime, Popeyes has continued to advertise its chicken strips as tenders rather than strips or fingers.